Morning traders, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. The confusion continues. So there's so much on the DAX at the moment that uh, does worry me. We've got a pretty much a hanging man here, and then we ended up with a indecision range bar on the daily on Friday. Oscillators are grouped in the, the sell zone, so indicating that we are in an overbought um, area. And also, the volumes are also declining over the last, uh, well, most of the month, the volumes have been declining. So I'm a little bit cautious with uh, the DAX at the moment. Now there, there are a few scenarios that could be playing out here. So the trend is up, so let's not beat around the bush around that. The trend is definitely up, and you should be looking for longs. It's just we are at an all-time high. We are also um, sort of ranging at the moment. Lots of indecision in the markets as well, specifically the German markets. Uh, apart from the coronavirus, there's also some political noise in Germany. And there's also some uh, recession fears creeping into the German market at the moment. So um, a lot of indecision, and that is reflected about what we see in the charts at the moment. There's nothing really here on the 3R that I can see that I need to be uh, concerned about right now. Uh, we are ranging a very tight range at the moment. And... Uh, we do have sort of structure brewing. You'll see this on the hour. So not quite a head and shoulders, but more like a, a cup and handle. There's your cup and here's your handle bring. Ultimately on the higher time frames, we need to get above uh, 13.795. And if we do get above 13.795, then we're looking at 14,000. Um, there is a cup. There's a measured move that's aiming for that area, and also it's just the next round number. And we're not that close, but we we like uh, it's visible. It's like a distant uh, distant hill that we can see that we want to climb. Oscillator is also lining up, indicating we need to be looking for a level, and we just have bounced off this level here, which was um, thirteen seven three three. Okay, so. With that in mind, when we come down to the 12 minute, you'll see some structure that we have here. So first structure is obviously the break of that trend line. Okay, so we broke it and we rallied. And the fact that there were buyers going into the close, um, we could argue that it's um, profit taking from people that were short. But uh, it's a fairly strong bounce off the bottom there. So I suspect that there's some buyers in there as well that have been coming for the weekend, held over the weekend. So at the moment, as far as I'm concerned, we should be looking for the long. Um, the structural here at 13732, that is my line in the sand. The downside, if we break below that, then uh, I'm looking for a different opportunity. Uh, but right now, we have broken this fractal, so next pullback I'm looking for a long, okay. And don't be too surprised if you see the pullback happen right where we are at the moment. So there's our fractal to the downside, and then you'll see a little bit of a pullback, bit of structure forming, and then we move to the upside. Um, the hour, if you look at the moving averages, they're all sort of meandering all over the place, but that's definitely something we need to pay attention to okay um measured move on the hour so i didn't point it out now there's my bottom move there's my top move okay so i can use this whole thing as a range or i can use this as a flag doesn't really matter uh, bottom line is that's my target area up there and that is Uh, what's that? 13,925, which is very close to your 1,400. Okay, so let's get across to Ichimoku. Not so sure it's going to change anything. So firstly on the 12 minutes, we are back at a resistance level. There it is there, top of cloud. So wouldn't be too surprised to see a bit of a bounce off here. Uh, just for bounce for a couple of 12-minute uh, bars and then sort of gather itself before breaking through. So that's kind of um, what I can see. This is bullish. Uh, check of span. Where's check of span? Check of span. It's just in price here. Um, starting to round. 
So there's a lot of um, mixed signals, but there's also a fairly strong bullish signal as well. The half hour is bearish, uh, bullish, bullish, bullish. So we have mixed signals there as well. So again, I'd want to see some kind of a pullback before looking at this. Um, the hour is still bullish. Everything is bullish. Okay, we're bouncing off the cloud again. You can see broke through the cloud, tested the cloud there. Second time we're testing the cloud and we're sort of breaking a bit of a flag set up here. There's our flag there. Okay, so yeah, I'm inclined to believe we are looking for opportunity to be long. I think it is concerning me if you look at the four hours, the length of this Kijasan and Tekken. So most of the week it was flat last week. Okay, everything's bullish, but we're ranging, we're flat. Okay, and a break of this range, which basically means a break of the highs, is going to be a fairly strong move to the upside. Okay, um, the only thing on the daily is we're so far away from Kijitsen and Tekinson. Kijitsen and Tekinson are separating, so I would prefer a, a decent pullback, to be honest, before looking for longs again on the DAX. Uh, I think for me today, probably not even going to bother with the DAX. I will sit and watch it rather than trade it. There's nothing that's exciting me at the moment on on this uh, on this market right now. So that's kind of my view at the moment. If you are going to trade this thing, uh, you're going to need to pay attention to your levels on the lower time frames because I suspect you're going to get a lot of profit taking on those levels. And a break above this area, I would be wanting to see an hour break. Uh, let's just get to make sure, you, yeah, that's it. So I'd want to see an hour break and close above these this previous high of Friday. Okay, thirteen seven nine five uh, thirteen yeah thirteen seven nine five. So that's the area that I want to see an hourly close and a proper hourly close above that. Uh, then that would have me interested in. It's some kind of uh, structure that may be looking for the longs. But at the moment, I think this thing is still sideways bound. And I uh, wouldn't be too surprised if we see sideways to downside uh, also materialize today. So lots of mixed, sig mixed signals. And it's not something that I really want to trade at the moment. And I think I might just put this other level in because it's as clear as daylight. You can see how often we touch this on Friday. And that is uh, 13735. Okay, and fairly low volumes on Friday as well. You can see compared to the other week, um, sort of the other days, Friday was a very low volume day there. Okay, anyway, guys, so for me, it's set on hands on this market, not really interested in this uh, until we get a decent break above that high or we get a decent pullback to form some better structure down the bottom here of a, of a, a half decent range. Okay, so until then, I'll be looking at um, other markets to trade. Okay, anyway guys, that's for me today. Hope it helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.